Hello and welcome back. In this short lecture, we're going to learn about how to configure PowerShell scripts uh, with the device configuration settings. By configuring this, you can run some kind of PowerShell scripts automatically on the target devices or could be also run on your target users. Uh, to begin with this, uh, you can click on Add. Uh, to go back here, you can go back to the Microsoft Intune and the device configuration. In the previous lecture, we, we did learn about the profiles. Now we are jumping into the PowerShell script. So click on PowerShell scripts. Here you can click on add and add your script, uh, whatever the script you wanted to run on your uh, user's machine. Let me open up uh, two of the scripts which we have um, going to be demonstrate here. I have two scripts. I'm just opening with my uh, notepad. This is a script. Uh, it's going to be download. It's going to open up the URL to download the WinZip and later on it's going to save it to C colon Windows temp folder and then it's going to install. Uh, it's going to install and once it is installation is completed it's going to exit. So by adding this, the simple script is going to be installed 7 zip. Similarly I do have another script. Uh, if you can you know, open uh, this script, it's going to be you know simply popping up saying that hey PowerShell script uh, which is you know coming up from your Microsoft Intune has arrived like that it's gonna pop up that's a simple script and these are the two scripts which we are going to demonstrate uh, or adding into our Microsoft Intune portal let's give a meaningful name into the Microsoft Intune portal uh, now what I've done is I went to the home and Microsoft Intune and device configuration PowerShell scripts now I'm gonna add PowerShell scripts here I can give here as the a simple name for example this could be a 7-zip uh, push uh, what we are trying to do PowerShell script and then it's going to be you can give the installation for the 7 zip as the description you can give. remember that this is not for the application distribution but it can be any kind of you know script uh, but I'm taking here as the one other uh, custom script to just to download from 7 zip and install it from the over or the internet but it can be your Windows customizations or it can be some other uh, thing which you wanted to do it from a script so instead of you run or the users to run the script you are running uh, either on user credentials or on the system context so in our case uh, we are customize a script to write for 7-zip to be pushed and now I'm gonna uh, take the script when I click here uh, it's actually asking me to locate that script uh, and I'm locating the script for example here in this case 7-zip download and install script which is going to be uploaded and then here three different options are coming up one would be the run the script running on a logged on user credentials like if you want to target for only specific user credentials to be run on um, that's logged on user then you can choose or uh, if not it's going to run on a system credentials and for the script has a signature check which will check for the script whether that script has uh, verified with a signature or not and in our case we are not checking that we are gonna run with the system credentials and the last but not the least one it's gonna run with the 64-bit PowerShell um, for example the thread of the PowerShell would be the not the 32 bit it's gonna use the 64 bit so it all depends on your requirement sometimes the, some of the PowerShell script doesn't work uh, if they run from 32 bit instead they need to run from 64 bit now I'm just clicking on next in our case it, it actually runs the 7 zip uh, with the 32 also so I can use that basic one now all we have done is uh, we just give the basic information and then the script uh, we located the script now it's a time to assign uh, to what group you want to assign for example you want to assign for all users or all devices or you want to assign for all users regardless or the users as well as the devices configuration or you can specifically um, locate or show the group to include for example I can here include uh, all finance users group for example so that all the finance users uh, would be uh, installed with the specific uh, win7 uh, win7 zip or 7 zip uh, application on on all those users uh, or the devices uh, whatever the group has a members now uh, this is a review and uh, creation the final step you can click on here to add that's gonna create for us a PowerShell script and you can check out here whether this is assigned or not 
you can check out here and then if you don't want you can right click and delete here uh, let's add one more script also for as uh, like a pop-up uh, on a user uh, user credentials we wanted to run that fill the meaning name as well as the description and clicking next and I need to locate here the script location I'm, I'm gonna locate this and this is the script which I wanted to upload and I'm gonna run this as a locked on user and uh, I don't need any kind of signature check or maybe f uh, running from the 64 bit so it can run either 32 or 64 now I'm gonna run this for all users as well as all devices regardless because we just wanted to demonstrate how the script gonna work for us for us so just add that it's gonna add uh, the specific script also uh, that's how you're gonna um, create uh, create and device configuration PowerShell scripts the use case is uh, completely depends on what kind of scripts you want to run on those machines in fact uh, you can also push from the Intune uh, from the applications model also but this is uh, as a way of you know doing it uh, for example and the, the client apps also you can uh, push the scripts or, or any kind of uh, if any kind of uh, maybe exe or other things also can be pushed out we did we are gonna you know look at this in the upcoming demos but uh, uh, since we are going through altogether a different way uh, like you, you can see here from the client apps also you, you can push out but this is uh, completely different uh, from the device configuration where you can actually push the uh, some kind of script to automate your requirement for example maybe configuration on your machine or deletion of some files or maybe execution of execution of some kind of uh, configuration so that the devices are compliant or you want to notify some kind of uh, information to the user such information can be pushed out or uh, in the form of only purely powershell scripts uh, that's where you're going to use this thank you for watching this and uh, we will catch in the next lecture